Hi everyone, welcome to Roger Channel. My name is Alice. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is where I share journaling process, crafting tutorials, and journal flip through that I make. This journaling session is special. I am collaborating with Juni at Willow Bound Journals for August Keepsake Journal Prompts. I am so honored to be a part of this with other amazing creators. So for this project, 31 journalers and journalists are sharing one journaling spread each day with the day's prompt for August. And this is day 12, the prompt is pet. I am very excited to share these cute photos. She's our family dog. She lives with my parents. She is like sunshine in my family. We are so grateful she showed up in our life. We are just so lucky to have her. So I wanted this page to be bright and lovely like her. So I pulled out paper scraps and die cuts from Maggie Holmes' garden party collection. As you just saw, I layered the main photo with a doily and pattern papers. I chose rather muted and neutral colors to put behind the photo so they don't attract too much attention to them and be more harmonious with the photo. Now I'm tearing the ledger paper with a ruler because torn edge helps the paper blend into the page better. I wanted to add a little more pink on the left side too because the ledger paper has pink on it. So I tore another scrap into a triangle shape and covered the top left corner. I was debating where to put the bicycle. I decided to put it on the left page and for the right page corner, I chose one of the small photos. By the way, I print photos on glossy photo papers. And then I placed a paper strip under the house die cut. It was the leftover from when I trimmed one of the patterns behind the photo. I chose this because it was the same floral with the you and me card on the right side as well. This could be a little journaling tip. By using the same pattern more than one time in different spots on your page, you can make your page look more cohesive. Now I'm arranging a floral cluster. It's the best part of working with Maggie Home Side Cuts for me. By the way, the book that I'm journaling is a junk journal that I made. If you want to have a closer look at it, there will be a link to the flip through video in the description box below. Adding one more butterfly, I finished the layout. Now it's time to glue all of them to the page. I'm using this glue stick from Prima Planner. It is a very strong glue and very convenient to use on small or narrow surfaces. When I work with a cluster, I assemble a cluster first, and then I glue the whole cluster to the page.
I found this tiny wall die cuts to add on each photos. They are very small, so I had to use a micro tip glue pen. Then I added a tiny hearts on the photo. This is the last thing I did. When there's a tag, I really want to add some thread or string. And also, I love adding different texture to the page, so this works both ways. So I added a lace ribbon and baker's twine to each tag. Now I'm gonna journal on the page. For the first line, I had the help of ruler to write straight. The pen I'm using is Unibol Signo DX 0.28. I like fine pens. And on the right side, I changed the direction. By changing writing direction, you can add a little more interest to the page. So this is how the page turned out. I love it so much. It's lovely and the spread has soft colors. I had so much fun working with these cute photos. I think I'll definitely do more journaling with her photos. I hope you enjoyed this journaling process. It was super fun to be a part of Junie's August Keepsake. I left the links for Junie's August Keepsake journal prompts introduction video and Instagram post for the prompt list below in the description box so you can check other collaborators' journaling process as well. I'm sure you'll find lots of inspirations and journaling ideas. And also, you can always join us. There is still 19 prompts to go. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my journaling process. Let me know what you think in the comment. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.